Hello. Welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks. Hey, have I got a great tip for you today. I have a great way to save time. When we need to produce a quick summary report, consider using the Data Consolidate feature as a quick alternative to creating subtotals. Let me demonstrate. Over here in this worksheet, I've imported some information from our company's mainframe computer. My boss has just come into the office and said, Danny, I've got a meeting in five minutes. I need to have a summary by territory. Well, our first inclination is to create a subtotal. Let me show you the quick alternative using Data Consolidate. Start by selecting a blank cell. We're going to use it in this worksheet. Go up to Data, choose Consolidate make sure that we're using the proper function in this case sum and now for our reference will be all of our data including the top row the field headers or the column headers there's our data and it's added into our range here and now make sure that we select use the labels in the top row and the left column click OK and here we have our quick summary very quick now there is one little quirk that I want you to notice that for some reason when we do data consolidate the label in cell a1 doesn't get picked up well we'll just copy that paste it over and there we have it now we can also use consolidate with another function for example average just pick another blank cell go data consolidate change the function to average our reference is already selected our rows in the top row and left column click OK there we have it now it's just a question of changing this to be labeled as average and we'll get rid of this column and now we have all of our information we can just copy it and paste it over here into another worksheet or put it into Word, whatever we want to do. Now let's just quickly contrast that with what we would have to do to create this as a subtotal. First, with subtotals, I have to sort the information. Then I go to Data, uh, Subtotals, select at each change in, select the function, add the subtotal to, and if I want to add in average, go back, data, subtotals, and this time make sure I uncheck, replace, change the function to average, click OK. So you can see that our numbers are correct, northeast, northeast, the average, the average. The real advantage of doing data consolidate is when we need to copy the information. So over here, where we have our subtotals in level 2 summary, the problem comes when we go to copy it and we want to paste it somewhere. We think we're getting the, uh, the short uh, summary. We paste it. Unfortunately, we have everything selected. We would have had to go to select the visible cells only. So there's a great tip for you today. Consider using consolidation as a quick alternative to creating subtotals. We'll see you in the next Tips and Time Savers.